In this tutorial, we're going to look at Render Digimania's ability to render a QuickTime movie sequence in its latest release of version 1.0.4. The ability to output as a QuickTime movie makes it easier to share rendered sequences both internally and externally to clients. To export a rendered sequence as QuickTime, you first need to activate your render camera. This can be found here in the Active Camera tab. For me, it is camera one. Once the camera has been selected, either go to the render menu and choose render, or press Ctrl R, or use the render button located here. This will open the render window. The output path will need to be set. Under the format tab options, there's an output type field. Select QuickTime video from the drop down options, and change the frame size to your specific requirements. And also change the start and end frame numbers to match your sequence. Then select render. Once render is selected, you'll notice the timeline will start scrubbing through whilst the quick time is rendering. Once the render has finished, a render report window will appear. There you go, rendering completed successfully. It will give you certain information. For example, the folder where it has saved to, the number of frames it's rendered, how long it's taken to render. OK, let's just select OK to open the rendered movie. And there you go, a lovely QuickTime video.